Hey guys, Bad Infos here with a top 5 video! Here I'll show you my picks for the best games of 2004! This was the hardest list I had to do so far! 2004 was an incredible year for video games! Lots of amazing titles released! Sadly, this is a top 5 list, so I'll show you only the 5 best games released in the year 2004! Or let's go! Joey Wheeler doesn't take a backseat to nobody! It's time to duel! Yu-Gi-Oh! Power of Chaos, Joey the Passion. Yes guys, a Yu-Gi-Oh! game! There are three of them in the Power of Chaos franchise. One is against Yu-Gi, which is primitive with limited cards and low skill level. Then we have Kaiba, which was also released this year but has no place on this list because again it's limited. And then we have the one against Joey. The combination between the other two with difficulty levels, many more decks and triple the card count. The absolutely best Yu-Gi-Oh game to date. As a child I was a big fan of the show. I saw every episode multiple times, knew most of the lines and even got up at 7 a.m. on Saturdays and Sundays to watch them on my TV. Yeah, crazy, I know, but there was no internet. You had to wake up early to watch it. Well, when I heard that there was a Yu-Gi-Oh game I flipped out and finally got my hands on it after a while. Yu-Gi-Oh! was very popular at school, everyone had huge decks of cards, me included. We played at home and discussed it the next day at school. The great thing about the franchise is that if you have all the three games, once you win a new card against Joey for instance, you can use the same card against Kaiba and vice versa. It's kind of embarrassing admitting this, but... Unlocking all the cards took me more than 10 years. Yeah, I have played it for that long and this might be the game which I have the most hours in, even more than GTA San Andreas and Minecraft. <laughs> Need for Speed Underground 2 this is the very first game I purchased with my own money. I was a young boy living in a poor family who could not afford much. I saved for months and was finally able to afford my very own game. That game was one of the best purchases in my life. Underground 2 completely changed racing for me. I forgot all about real life track racing with rules damaged vehicles and real-life drivers. This is where it's at. On the street, late at night, in your tuned vehicle and the crowd cheering you on. Underground 2 was the game with the most customization options. They are extremely diverse. From flames with bulky bumpers to low-profile spoilers and chrome hoods. But wait, you can't get everything from the start. You are in an open-world city, so you need to find races and more most importantly, tuning shops. If you don't, then you are out of luck. You look ugly forever and nobody will sponsor you. The city layout is very neat, you have big cities and semi-off-road tracks. This is one of the best NFS games and many players adore it, including myself. It's very unfortunate that we never saw a game even come close to the quality and polish that this one had. Neighbors from Hell 2 on vacation. Here we go again, the hilarious duo of Woody and Rottweiler came back for another adventure. This time instead of them being in a house, they took a cruise on various exotic locations. They went to the Great Wall of China, India and Mexico. All locations are greatly constructed and show off the traditions of each of the countries. This time the neighbor brought a bodyguard and that's none other than his mother, a loudmouth granny who always complains. Her cushion is not soft enough, her dog needs a walk, 
she constantly orders her son around and Trotweiler being a good mama's boy obeys. And of course all she does is lay in the sun. I can't blame her honestly, it's a vacation after all. However, she is not the only new character. Olga and her son are also on the trip. Our neighbor's crush who he always tries to impress. Well, with my help it always goes sour. If you have not figured it out by now, your job is to make his vacation a nightmare by setting up elaborate traps around each level. Make the neighbor very angry and you might get a gold medal. Tony Hawk's Underground 2 this game is like no other I've played. When I got it for the first time I was a dumb teenager. I was into wearing baggy pants, drawing graffiti and pulling tricks on elderly people. Sadly I was also a very shy gamer nerd so I could not pull off any of that. Well Underground 2 helped me relive my fantasy. It starts off by you being kidnapped from skating and locked in a room with the best skaters in the world. After a horrific chainsaw made Maniac threatens your buddy and him pissing his pants, it turns out that no other than Tony Hawk invites you on a world tour. The idea is pretty simple, you do what is essentially terrorist acts around town and get points. Being a world tour means a lot of travel to various interesting countries. Each level is well crafted with lots of secrets and new skaters to discover. You can do small challenges such as tagging billboards or go all out and damage the whole city by letting close a bull. The challenges are very well made and are all unique, interesting and sometimes very difficult. The jackass theme this game is trying to portray is very cringy, however I think it fits well. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto San Andreas this game has one of the worst PC ports ever. It crashes, has a 25 FPS lock, unlocking it breaks the physics and the mouse movement, terrible jaw distance. Should I go on? I can sit here for an hour listing things I dislike about it. However, even with all that said, this is the best game of 2004. Actually, scratch that, this is the best game ever made. Period. I have been a PC gamer since 2002 and no other game has been this surprising and interesting to me to play. When I got it initially in 2005 I played it for a bit and tossed it aside. It was laggy, ugly, with bad controls. I went back to Vice City and didn't look back for a month or so. After I tried it again and forced myself to play it, I saw the true beauty of it. San Andreas taught me everything I know today about video making. It helped me join a stunting community, meet many great people, joined a crew, I made a name for myself, I learned how to edit videos, changed my taste in music from all the stunting videos I edited. I was not a popular kid at school and San Andreas was my escape from all the annoyances in real life, bullies, responsibilities, financial problems and others. San Andreas helped me overcome all of that with its amazing gameplay. I can't really explain it why I like it so much honestly because I really shouldn't. The story makes no sense a lot of the time, the bugs take you out of the experience on occasion and many of the meaningless tasks required for 100% are infuriating. It's still my special little game I grew up with. The game which helped me in my hardest times and the game I'll play 50 years from now. I'm also sure that if I try it for the first time today I'll label it as one of the worst games I have ever played. Yes, I'm very harsh on it but I speak like that because I care. I wanted this game to be perfect but it will never be. I still love it to bits and nothing else would ever take the number one spot. And that's it from me guys, those are my favorite games of 2004. Again, I could have easily included 5 more games, which are almost as good as the ones you saw, but I'll stay true to the format. If you wanna see more top 5 lists then click on the screen and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.